Hi. Now, when we do a story on cats, dogs, any pet, we know there's probably heaps of peeps just waiting for a push in the right direction to decide which to choose. Well, if you're considering a kitten, there's a made-to-order variety, especially bred to have features that make a good house cat. Tony Johnston found the spotted mist was a perfect pet puss. One of the first features that you'll notice about the spotted mist cat are the spots and their ability to walk on the odd arm or two and play with the odd head or two. <laughs> These cats love to play. The second quality is that they want to stay with you. They don't want to get away and be by themselves, which I guess is more like a dog quality than a cat quality. Hey, you guys right down there? <laughs> they just don't stop. <laughs> the third noticeable difference is, is that they prefer to stay indoors. I don't know if we're going to make it out of here alive. Oh, OK, so they've also got four legs, whiskers and a tail. The Spotted Mist is a relatively new breed of cat, with the first one born in 1980. The lady responsible for establishing the cat is Truda Strayed. She had been looking for a cat that had a lively and loving temperament, got along with other cats, as well as being good-looking. Truda, isn't, isn't that a lot to ask for? I mean, some cats have one or two of those qualities, but all three... Well, it's a challenge. I want sure to create it something, been. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so why did you want to create a cat that's lively and loving and with spots and likes to live indoors and all of that? Because that's the cat that everybody tells you about, that they want as a pet. The ultimate that's cat. That's the cat that they remember. If they've had one like that in their lives, that's the one they remember. How did you set about creating a new breed of cat? Oh, well, I... Um, mated together Abyssinian and Burmese right. and then the progeny of those back crossed to Burmese oh. and sometimes oh, yeah. there was our spotted mist in those right. and I also mated Burmese to domestics yep. and then mated those with the spotted spotties yes oh, that sounds like such a confusing process so <laughs> could anyone do it well look anyone could but of course it takes an awfully long time Truda what what did the other cat lovers think about all of this well, they used to laugh about those old moggies on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> With the spots on them. <laughs> well, they weren't even very spotty at first. <laughs> really? So no. they're actually uh, developing more spots as, as they evolve, as they, as they develop? Yes, yes. I've actually selected now. I started to get the tabby, then yeah. I selected the more spotty tabbies. Right. And now we get pretty well always spotty ones. Don't tell me the way you say it. Don't make me face the world today. <laughs> The spotted mist is now an accredited pedigree by the Royal Agricultural Society Cat Control and can be shown and judged accordingly. The, guys, this is, this is a cat story. No, oh, all right, if you insist. They won't leave me alone unless I put them on telly. You happy now? <laughs> You're making some friends with some cats there. Truder, apart from the spots, what characteristics are they judged by? Well, the fact that they're a short-haired cat, quite a nice short plushy coat. Mm -hmm. um, body type, they must be lovely and firm and muscly. Yeah. Balance, they balance. must be balanced. They, have they to are them. a cat. <laughs> they are a cat that has no extremes. Right. So they must look like a well-bred domestic, which yeah. means that they have a nice body in conformation with the head and the tail, yep. neither too long nor too short. He wants to play, I think. <gasps> yes, he does. Though temperament doesn't actually count. You can't judge a cat that you can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> the other main characteristic are the colours, of which there are six. Brown, blue, chocolate, lilac, gold and peach. Now, admittedly, they sound more like flavours than colours, but I'm not going to try and eat one. Truda would kill me. Now, the kittens are a lot more pale than the adults, with full colour achieved at around 12 months of age. Come on, push. Over his body. Here we go. And up. The spot of mist, as well as having the usual nine lives, makes a great indoor pet, but just make sure they're house trained. Make me face the world. <laughs> and that cat could go on a diet too. Fat puss, wasn't he a beauty?